Hey family, what's up? Um, today I'm going to do a video doing half my face in drugstore and half my face in luxury makeup. And I already did it. Take a guess below before you start watching which is which. What do you think? Everything is one or the other. One of my face cost me several hundred dollars and the other was not nearly that much. What do you think? Stay tuned to watch. But I am going to do this side of my face in luxury makeup and this side of my face in drugstore makeup. So to start off, I'm going to prime my face using Maybelline Master Prime on this side and Tatcha Silk Canvas on this side. I don't like this stuff. I don't have anything good to say about it. This is less than $10 and this is 60 something dollars. I will leave prices in the description box down below of these items. Down the center of my face, that will get a little bit tricky. I've expressed how I feel about this. On the luxury side, I'm going to use my Lancome, can't pronounce any of the other words except uh, Ultra Wear Foundation. I'm freaking obsessed with this. It's a mess. I bust it out for special occasions. This is in 210 Buff M. I should like research how to say these things before I pretend like I know what I'm doing. On this side, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I mix these. I'm going to try to mix them to match the color of that. Um, it's got a similar finish. Hey Sarah, let's, let's try to stay on the monitor today. How about that? Not a lesson in how to say bye in every language in the world. I guess I make for a good channel uh, presence, premise. Watch me screw up and learn all the languages. I mean, the foundation is going on amazingly, but it doesn't matter what primer I use with this. It just goes on amazingly. Any of my felon, felons, any of my felons out there, can any of my fellow bargain hunters tell me if there is any single dupe for this foundation in the whole world? Because I would love to know. I love it. It is expensive. Yo, Maybelline, can we get a pump? the other side of my sponge. Cool, I just sprayed in my water. Mmm. It's actually blending out as a decent shade match, luckily. Do it again. These are around the $10 mark, and I know this is like around $50. Now close up. Not much difference already. This side is a little drier to put on. Coverage is actually about the same. Honestly, up close, not much difference at all. On my luxury side, I am going to go in with the Born This Way concealer. On this side, we're gonna do the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm actually gonna use some Instant Rewind as well on this side to kind of brighten it up because 
this is much lighter over here. Not much difference. I feel like I've scammed myself. I'm gonna lightly set my face today. And on the luxury side, I'm gonna use this Derma Blend. And I'm just gonna set where I crease. I'm gonna take a towel, clean towel, and really wipe this off to use the same brush, but it's powder. It's gonna come off. And on the other side, because it's the closest thing I have in color, I'm gonna use this $5 air spun. It smells like your grandma. I miss my grandma. I'm okay with that. It's a Sarah tutorial. You get to watch me deal with boogers. I take allergy medication. Don't even, don't come at me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what to do with my life. For my next step, I'm going to bronze. And on my luxury side, I'm gonna use this powder contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And on my non-luxury side, I'm gonna use this butter bronzer. This has only got butter bronzer on it already. It's really like my favorite. All right, the beers. You're doing the most. <sighs> Forgot that was in there. Like anybody uses this piece of garbage. I always hope they don't like actually factor that into what they charge me. Cause I'll mail it back to them for a refund. Casper, Jamaica, Casper, Jamaica. Set you aside so I can. And I think I'm gonna use this shade down here. Hello. Now, well, it could be this brush and not the product, but this is definitely coming out patchier than that butter bronzer. So for blush today, I'm going to do this Maybelline Fit Me. Hey, full face of Maybelline. Not intentional. This is in the shade 15. If, if they try to name this Fardo Joie, I don't know. Or Nude? I don't know. They're doing the most. And the shade Cash. They're the closest things I have. Are they really close? telling myself I'm not going to go over the top. Okay. Use this clean brush over here. Next! So I found this super interesting and I'll uh, attach some videos. Right there, there. But I was looking for some good matches for highlighter. You wouldn't think it, but <coughs> freaking allergic to makeup. And it's my favorite. <sighs> Hip cramp. Help. So this don't look at this lid. Just, I don't want to talk about it. I could use it as a palette. This may, another Maybelline. <laughs> I 
guess I'll tell you something about this brand. They do a good job. Molten Rose Gold, their Master Chrome Face Studio Highlighter. And actually two shades in here looked really close. And which means two shades in here looked really close to themselves. Um, the Eclipse and the Lyra. I should go to school for pronunciation. Oddly enough, this Orion, that blue shade, and this Wet n Wild, it almost looks white. Mega Glow, it's a limited edition color that I got like in the clearance section for Halloween. They are almost identical, and this white one actually shows up more blue than that Orion shade does. So I am going to put Lyra on this luxury side of my face. Master Chrome on this side of my face. I'm cleaning off my brush really good. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I don't love these colors, but it's full of video. I'm gonna do the Orion on the tip of my nose. Brush off. Do some of this wet and wild on the upper lip. I'm gonna mellow that out. <laughs> Milk, please. As you can see, hardly any difference. I have a Borgie sitting underneath my seat. If anyone's curious what that is, it's a Corgi and a Border Collie. It's a really goofy looking dog. And he just ripped ass. He farted real good. And if you hear the subtle snoring, that's him. I put him in a security sweatshirt. He wears clothes. Now he really thinks he's my protector. I did it to myself. I caused most of my own life problems. So this one was hard for me because I generally use two of these products together. One is drugstore, one is luxury. And I'm gonna try to use them separately and see if I can do it. If not, I'm just gonna combine because I'm not walking around with two crazy eyebrows. So I either use the NYX Spoolies are cat hair collectors. I either use the NYX or the CoverGirl pencil. Let me get back up here. So anyone who doesn't know me, I am five foot eight, but I wear a short length jean. Think about that. That means I'm about five foot of torso. So I tend to do this. And I'm feeling lazy and don't really want to look for jeans. When I walk in, I'll go up to the counter and tell them what size I'm looking for. And if they don't see me walking in and I tell them that I'm looking for such and such a size, I ain't telling you guys, it's been a rough year. And I end the sentence with shortcut. They look at me nuts. And then they'll walk around the counter and they see my legs. And you can see how uncomfortable they are. They just saw a circus sideshow for the first time in their life. In person. All shirts are crop tops. I'm going into the Anastasia. Short dresses or t-shirts. Rompers. I could make a fun video on that one time. Camel toe city. Now this side's definitely darker. See if we cake a little more on if that'll help. Now I think for eye primer today, I'm just gonna use concealer. A little extra of this. So what I'm gonna do is use the Sultry palette on my left eye. And then I am going to use several of my other drugstore palettes, mostly, I think they're all from Morphe, 
to try to duplicate the look on my right eye. I am not going to tell you which shadows I use. I use three different palettes to create the look. So hang tight. I'm gonna do this on fast forward. I have to say twig is one of the most interesting kind of unique colors gotta give it to her right now I'm duping birch I really wish people would stop calling me. I'm antisocial. tougher to blend. to try to match one of the shimmers and I'm gonna do ember it was the one I could find the closest sort of dupe for so I'm gonna apply ember with my finger to this side that's so pretty clean my finger off I'm in the Doesn't apply quite the same. It's a little bit more uh, green and dark, but you know, go back into that ember with my other finger, kind of cake it on a little bit more, get more pigment. So yeah, as you can see, it's it's not not bad, not bad. So using fresh from the ABH palette in this color tact here, I'm gonna blend out that inner corner. This is where you see quality of shadow coming through. So if you look, it's kind of grabbing at that shadow a little bit. You know what fixes everything? Glitter. Shimmer. I just confused my brushes, so I'm gonna wipe them off. Going into Pearl for my ABH palette. Yeah, just not as pretty. From far away though, at the end of the day, nobody belongs up in my face like that. The 
before I f it up. Holy! We're just gonna blend and blend. And blend. <laughs> Story. Oh my gosh, Tux. Get your life together. Has anybody ever wondered if their dog needed a CPAP? Or is that just me? Are those the things I think about? Probably just me. So on the luxury side for eyeliner, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay. 24-7 glide on pencil in perversion. I'm gonna put a little bit in my are are you are you serious? <sighs> he is lucky he is the weirdest, cutest looking little fellow you've ever seen in your whole life. See if I can do this, staying in the monitor, and you know, no, I can't, I just, I don't know how to. <laughs> and on my drugstore side, I'm gonna use this Maybelline definitely a theme here. Unstoppable eyeliner. And this was like my, my thing before I really got into makeup. same brushes from earlier. Like how I said that, like I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna use the same one and clean it off. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. Using pearl, clean that off. Clean my inner corner. Mascara time! doing this first. Don't like this stuff. It hurts. I don't understand how anybody can use these wands. They're violent. This is the man eater from Tarte. Hella fast forward through this. I'll see you in an hour. Maybe I've built up calluses. That wasn't as horrific as the first time. All right, and on the other side, my favorite mascara of all time. Nothing beats it, in my opinion. Lash Paradise. And for our final attempt at a dupe, the only two lip things I could find that matched to mine 
were two lip crayons pencils. One is from Makeup Revolution in Bow Down, and the other is from Buxom that I got in a holiday kit in Undercover. I don't like these colors, but we'll make it work. I also don't know where my effing sharpener is, so I'm just gonna proceed to stab myself for the next couple minutes. Don't mind me. It's like glue. Now the shade is not perfect, that's for sure. Um, and this is one where I will say hands down the luxury side is the better formula. I am going to use this on my whole face because I do not have a drugstore other than the Morphe and they're just two totally different intentions. So I'm gonna even myself out here. I think I'm just gonna master curl my nose, upper lip. You saw for yourself the other stuff's pretty damn good. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I actually think it's pretty close. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'll do a final check-in and then you guys can see how it holds up. That's also a pretty big determining factor. And we'll get a grand total of what each side of my face costs going on in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching, all five of you that do. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your family. Tune in. Laugh at me, laugh with me, whatever you gotta do. Sitting super awkwardly in school pickup. Mm -hmm. Trying not to get caught taking videos of myself. This is excellent lighting to show you I have hella texture on my skin and wrinkles. But uh, yeah, here we are about five hours later with my makeup. Um, the only thing I did was put lip gloss on a little bit ago, but I already rubbed that off. Um, Oddly enough, I think my eyeshadow on the drugstore side, shoot, I have to take a minute to even remember, um, this side is holding up better. Probably because I had to blend so fiercely, um, which may have worked out better. I think I might have learned a technique or two. I'll do a late night check-in. Say hi, Easton. Hi. Hi. That's my little guy. Let's see if the crazy guys are coming. He looks, he looks angry, but look at that. Oh, we got an okay day. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say hi like you mean it? Hi. They're fully related. It's hard to tell. <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> hey, so it is like 1030 at night. This has been on since about 10 o'clock this morning, and it's actually, you know, greasy right down the middle. Take a look-see for yourself. I don't know. I mean, I actually really thought this side would come out so much better, and I'm happy with how they both came out. I did the totals, and this side... Brrr, has $372 worth of products on here. And the drugstore side has $156.39. And that is with two palettes thrown in there. That's crazy. Crazy, right? Right? Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this? Do you want me to do more of these? Have a good night. Bye guys.